after you learn the r program you will get to know what exactly the hypothesis testing and why we require the hypothesis testing common probability density function you can see uniform normal student t distribution so these are all come under common probability density functions customizing traditional r plots and specialized text and label notation in data visualization This is Asha, Faculty of Computer Science in Vidyashram First Grade Degree College, the Temple of Excellence. So let us move on to, as per the university syllabus for the 5th sem BCA, the topic is Statistical Computing and R Programming. So let's discuss what are all the contents or the units we have now. So the agenda of the learning outcome, units, internal pattern and also practical lab and also reference books so let's discuss what are all the contents we have so after learning this r program you will get to know what are all explore fundamentals of statistical analysis and also our environment and also describe key terminologies and concept techniques employs in statistical analysis so after learning r programming you will get to know what is statistical analysis and probability distributions and how to calculate the probability distribution to solve a wide variety of problems. So the next point is conduct and inter interpret a variety of hypothesis test and need to discuss a decision making. So after you learn the R program you will get to know what exactly the hypothesis testing and why we require the hypothesis testing. So understand analyze interrupt correlation probability and regression. So regression and analyze the underlying relations between the different variables. So after learning the R program so you will get to know how the probability correlation and also linear regression you will get to know after once you complete the course. So let's see what are all the contents in the unit one we have now. So in the unit wise you can see the first unit contains introduction of the language. So every language has its own introduction means we need some basics to get to know the operations or else and the unit to reading and writing files. So for reading and writing files we have used some functions for that we need reading and writing files. To read that file we need some functions for that case. So the third unit will contains complete statistics and probability distribution. In this unit you will get to know the Poisson distribution, mass function, binomial and etc. In the fourth unit you will get to know how the testing will be done using the statistical and also modeling. And the last contains the last unit will contain the contain the simple linear regression. So linear regression it's a one of the uh, type so in the last unit you will get to know let's see the inside what are all the contents in the unit one let's see one by one the first unit so definition of r and also numeric arithmetic assignment vectors so what are all the data types we have like numeric or else complex or else boolean or else character strings and integer these are all the data types which contains in the definition of r and also history of R and also some features every language has its own feature for that so we need vectors vector is nothing but a it's a data structure to store a one methodology so vector is a data structure so in data structure concept we have many like data frames or as factors likewise we have vectors and matrices arrays non-numerical values and list data frames special values so classes for example, this data type is belongs to which class? It will be displayed using the class. So the next cohesion and basic plotting in other programming language you can see. So uh, type casting means we convert one data type to another data type. So in this case also in especially in R we call that case as a cohesion. So in the unit 2, so you can see reading and writing functions. For reading and writing files, we need some set of functions. For that case, we need some function that is called reading and also writing functions. For that function, it will read the file 
so within the uh, computer or else in our system so the next one functions so functions are nothing but is a set of block of course which execute a set of specific task so next condition loops so as usual in other in other programming language you already see do while while for loop so in this also while for loop and also repeat loop so in stand alone statements are nothing but conditional or control statements so these are all the if if else which return these are all come under the stand alone and stacking statements and coding loops writing functions exceptions for handling the errors and also timings and also visibility these are all the contents you will see in unit 2 so let's move on to the unit 3 what are all the contents so from this unit you will get to know what are all the statistics and also probability distributions so basic data visualization so data visualization is nothing but a graphical representation of data for analyzing the data or else we can say to see the pattern distribution among the data we need a data visualization technique for that so next one probability and common probability distribution we have mass functions and binomial Bernoulli and Poisson distribution these are all the subtypes of the common probability distribution you will get to know and the common probability density function you can see uniform normal student t distribution so these are all come under common probability density functions so you will learn after in the unit 3 let's move on to unit 4 so here you can see sampling distribution hypothesis testing so there is variety of testing so you will get to know hypothesis testing is also one of the testing components so uh, to test that hypothesis test we need some components uh, so for that we need some components so we will see in unit 4 so testing means and testing propositions and also testing categorical variables so categorical variables is nothing but so different variety of data so we can apply to this so and the last errors and powers and analysis of variance so mean mode median these are all the statistical components in that also we see errors and also powers and and also the last one analysis of variance so in the last unit which contains so complete simple linear regression so simple linear regression and also multiple linear regression and also linear model selection for diagnostics and also advanced graphics so not only the basic plots we will learn in the fifth unit advanced graphical representation using some packages or also or also uh, some libraries in R studio so next point click coordinate and plotting regions and margins customizing traditional R plots and specialized text and label notation in data visualization and defining colors and plotting in higher dimension for example if my graphic if my graphics is contain low dimension we can also convert into high dimensional for the data analysis purpose so the last representing and using color 3d scatter plot so in the 3d scatter plot what happens the x y z so three coordinates will be there so these are all the unit wise contents as per the university syllabus for the fifth semester bachelor of computer application that is bca so let's move on to so how the internal pattern will be given so internals will be 60 40 so 60 is your paper main paper and also 40 is your internal marks so in the 40 we will distributed like unit 1 and 2 for internal 1 unit 3 4 5 internal 2 so so the internal marks will be 30 so internal marks 1 will be 30 2 will be 30 so either average of 30 we can take for 30 marks and also or we can take best of two internals we can consider any one internal marks that is 30 in remaining 10 marks either assignments viva seminar or as presentation we can assign that remaining 10 marks so total 40 marks will be your internal marks so now how the 60 marks question paper will be distributed 
so in the there is a two section in question paper main question paper so part a part b you need to attend both part a and part b to get a good marks so now let's see how the 60 marks will be distributed so here you can see part a is 5 into 10 is equal to 50 marks in the part a you will get 50 marks so how only five questions are given so inside the five question you have to answer all the five questions so again five questions is like a b so each question carries 10 marks so that yeah, if you attend five questions you will get 50 marks so next see part b how the part b will be worked so you have choices here so you will you have to answer any five so each five question each question carries two marks each question carries two marks so you will get absolutely 10 marks so total 50 plus 50 plus 10 marks is equal to 60 marks so you can easily get it so total 60 marks so yes the practical lab means R as practical lab you have to practice 10 programs out of 10 programs uh, the external give either two questions to write the program and execution E means execution you have to execute any one or else you have to execute both the programs you have to write and also execute that carries 20 marks so in remaining 3 and 2 means total practical lab marks will be 25 for art programming so in that 20 marks will be right you have to write the programs and execute any one of them and after that for record maintenance you will get a 3 marks and remaining 2 marks will be for viva so that will be asked by the external so total 25 marks so record 3 marks viva 2 and also return program will be carries 20 marks so total 25 marks will be allotted for your R programming lab so let's see what are all the references textbooks for R programming so here you can see Tillman M Davis the book of R a first course in R programming and statistics so you can refer this textbook written by the Tillman M Davis for your reading purpose and also which was R Paugi statistical computing using R software. So you can refer this textbook for your more information in R programming. So this is all about your syllabus. So thank you.